Welcome back to another Can You Make Money video with Maze Plus. And this time we are going to have a look at beef cattle. So I have a shed full of 100 Angus. This is the same edited shed that I used for the dairy video. They have 10 million litres of food, 10 million litres of straw, lots of slurry storage. We have a big manure bunker and basically going to run through a bunch of tests with um base game with maze plus collect a load of data and uh, then jump in to powerpoint and take you through what i've learned so let's get out to powerpoint and uh, see what we found out so we uh been through collected all of the data and i'll talk about that in a little bit but first off let's have a look at what we've done so beef cattle with maze plus but i only looked at the angus cattle that is because limousines are basically the same they just use a little bit less straw and straw usage is not a deciding factor in this not considered calves particularly i do touch on them but um, again as with the dairy cattle you produce calves at the same points so they're worth the same amount so it's not really a difference been using the animal food additions and have used tmr for both um, as with the dairy cattle there are a lot of options for making tmr with maize plus and without maize plus um, i don't think they changed the conclusions again for this one um, so for the tmr um, you did use the uh, same dairy cow mix for the beef so 30 percent grass silage 40 percent maize silage 30 percent hay with maize plus and then the base game 40 percent 40 percent 20 percent this is just to work out the cost of buying their food and as i don't think it matters particularly for how we do this um given that you know the farm supply pack is where it's really at if you're buying food and in that case the mix doesn't matter because you can buy tmr so let's have a look at the data and like with the dairy cattle and as I said in the introduction I uh, I ran two sets of tests one for base game one for maze plus running it through to the point where the different inputs and outputs became stable obviously they do change with age for cows and then from there I could predict forwards if we needed to and I've looked out to 37 months because that's when you get your second calf it may or may not want to do things earlier we will have a look at that so orange lines are base game blue lines are maize plus you can see that with maize plus they eat significantly more food um you're looking at going between and i knew i should have had more numbers in front of me i actually have the spreadsheet open next to me so i can go and look so for the base game you're looking at 450 liters of food per month whereas with maize plus you're looking at 3900 liters of food per month so like the dairy cows significantly more food the same with the straw base game you're at 130 liters of straw a month with maize plus 550 liters of straw a month for the angus for the limousines i think it's uh it's definitely lower i can't remember what the number is it's not going to change the conclusion um if you want to have a look uh, in fact i'll put it on the screen when i finish editing this um so that's how much goes in how much comes out obviously we don't get milk with the dairy with the beef cow and um, so we just get manure and slurry and you can see we get a lot um, so for manure you are looking at for base game 300 liters a month at about peaking at about 19 20 months for maize plus you're looking at 1500 liters a month peaking at about 23 months um, and then with slurry it's 250 liters a month for the beef cattle and 500 for the maize plus um, so lots more going out as well um and I guess the important thing you're interested in is how do they balance out? So um, before we move on to that, last thing that's important with dairy cow, with beef cow, more so than with dairy cow, is the value of the animal because that's your product at the end, really. Um, so got that going through peak value at 36 months old of 3,500. Um, you can see that at 23 months, the line starts to flatten out um so you're really gaining in the first couple of years in terms of value of the animal okay the uh the important bit so what we have here is the difference between the 
amount of money you have gained in the value of the animal versus the and selling the manure and the slurry to a sell point on normal difficulty versus the value of the food and straw you put in so each month this is the return you could make if you sold your beef cow um, orange line is base game blue line is maize plus um, for information you get calves at 27 and 37 months starting them from zero months old I think it'd be 28 and 38 if you brought them at 18 months old um, and what you can see quite clearly is with maize plus it is not good um, the amount of uh, the cost of the food that you're putting in is so much compared to the value of the animal that you're just playing normally you know you're better off selling the food we'll come on to the farm supply pack and buying from the store in a moment um, I guess if you're just playing with base game, the key point is at 24 months, you're getting peak return, which is just over 1600 pounds. If you wait till 27 till you get a calf, so you don't have to buy the next calf, you earn a little bit less, but you save yourself 300 pounds buying the animal. But we're more interested in maize plus here. So what happens if we use the farm supply pack or buy from the store? It doesn't get much better. The farm supply pack, you lose a bit less. Buying from the store, you still lose quite a lot. Base game, you can make a bit more or make a bit less. So really not looking too bright. Um, how can we recover this? Some of you will know I am a big fan of BGAs. I have a couple on Mod Hub, And what I had a look at is what happens if you sell a percentage of the slurry and manure through a BGA. Um, and you can see this dramatically improves things because of the amount of manure and slurry you produce. 25% um, of it, I think, basically gets you pretty much close to base game behavior. I'm just scrolling through my spreadsheet. 25% is a bit less. You'll probably look about 30%, putting about 30% of the manure through the manure and slurry through a BGA will get you back to about base game profitability, buying everything from the farm supply pack. And that's about the same as the value of the food. Um, any more than that and you're starting to make big money. And the difference here is that once you're selling quite a lot of it through a BGA, you can really make a lot of money. And it's probably not worth selling the animal. So if you don't need any of that um, over three years, one beef cow can make you a lot of money you know 30 odd grand um obviously you need to buy the bga then if you use one of mine they're not that expensive and uh, suddenly you've got something that can be very profitable you can uh raise some beef cattle you know maybe raise them to 27 months so you get the next one um wait a bit so it's a bit older sell off and repeat and then you're starting to make a lot of money this would not be quite as good I didn't do the numbers on the base game because you're just not producing anywhere near as much manure or slurry. The real profitability comes from the fact that you produce so much manure and slurry. Put that through a BGA, you will make insane amounts of money. Now, obviously, Maze Plus is not always about making money. It's about bringing realism into feeding and things. But I feel that, you know, beef farmers make a living out of raising beef. Um, and the way this is set up at the moment, they would struggle to do that. So this is a way of recovering it, you know, putting your waste products through something you could do. You could use a production as well. You could use a fertilizer production, put the slurry through that, sell the fertilizer. Basically, to make beef profitable with maize plus, you probably need to do something. I've spoken about some of this already. Um, the increased food consumption makes raising beef cattle just to raise beef cow not profitable with maize plus you're looking at selling about 30 percent of the manure and slurry through a bga and suddenly you're very profitable you can make a lot of money or some sort of production you basically need to increase the value of their outputs some alternatives uh, something that i do on most of my let's plays that have beef is the uh the younger cattle are grazed now we have grazing now and i haven't accounted for that in here um Basically, I put them out in a pasture and don't feed them until they get to peak weight and then I fatten them. Uh, so breaking up both points there. The downside is you don't get the manure or slurry. So you're limiting your income from that point of view, but you're not putting food in. You feed them for the last month. Health goes up, value goes up, sell them. Not really realistic because in the real world they die and if we were playing with fs19 seasons they would die so um i think the bga route is a really good one for this 
there are plenty of small BGAs about, plenty of cheap BGAs. So it's definitely a way of increasing the profitability. And that's pretty much it. Let's jump back into the game. Not as good as dairy cattle, obviously, from that. In fact, significantly worse, unless you do something with the outputs from the animal. And then we can turn them into something profitable. Maze Plus is not about making money, really. As I said, it's about bringing realism to the feeding that you can provide to the animals. It is up to you if, you know, you could reduce the food consumption of these animals to account for the increase in cost of feeding them that's up to you have a bunch of videos on balancing that as part of the creation of maze plus it was not possible to do all of that balancing because there's kind of an open world economy and so many things change so many factors as you saw use a bga suddenly these are massively profitable animals so yeah when we get to terror life this will be different these things will all be balanced and accounted for because it will be within individual maps and so it'll be a closed system so we have a lot more control over things i hope you found this useful and entertaining and it taught you something um obviously it covers base game and maze plus so if you enjoyed the video do click the like button comments questions or suggestions below and if you've watched this far and you're not already subscribe to the channel and uh, one last thing thank you to all of the patrons and the youtube channel members for supporting my crazy project um can't believe what it is slowly turning into catch you next time